31 to 28 comeback win in the Meadowlands. This might also give Dallas confidence. They have never lost a season opener to the Giants, going 7 and 0 against them, including wins in both the 2013, 2012 and 2013 openers, excuse me. No team has ever won more games without a loss against a single opponent in season openers. G-Men versus the boys. Stephen A, who you got? Skip Bayless. I thought long and hard about this. Yeah, okay. And I guess Molly, too, since you're supposed to be a Giants fan. I'm a real Giants fan. I, I don't have you. two teams like I you. I got you. I think well, you're well, suspect. Well, well, that's because Ooh, Connecticut doesn't have an NFL team. Yes, and I grew up closer to I'm New York. I'm just saying, yes, but, but, but it's Connecticut. Connecticut doesn't have a I don't football have team. Yeah, he, he's got this weird and, and, and Pittsburgh yeah. Giants thing. Listen, that's listen, weak. listen, listen. I root for the New York teams because I'm a native New Yorker, but nobody comes before my Pittsburgh Steelers. Okay, so you're nobody. not a real New York so fan. You can call it whatever you want. Skip, skip, skip. Mm -hmm. I'm <laughs> not. That has nothing to do with Skip. Feel free to do it. Feel Sorry, free to do it. Sorry, I'm a real fan. That, that's how you oh. do it. It's all right. Yeah. I'm telling y'all right now. Okay, go. Here's, with all of that being said, whatever. let me say this. I got serious questions about the Giants' defense. So do I. I got even serious, more serious questions about the Giants' offensive line. So do I. But I'm rolling with the Giants to win this game. Oh, okay. Oh, I'm taking the Giants okay. to win this game. I, think I can't believe you just said that. I, I'm not. I, the Dallas, I left your bandwagon. Dallas's, I'm defense, defense, Dallas's defense has to show me what they're made of before I believe it. I know McClain's coming back. I know Sean Lee's going to be back. Even though they lost Orlando Skandrick, I know he's not prime time Orlando Skandrick. I get your point. But, but, with Odell Beckham Jr. and a healthy Victor Cruz with Randall, and Vereen there now. Are you sure Victor Cruz is healthy? Well, I don't know about I Victor Cruz. Are we sure no, he's going to go? I think he's iffy at best. I've got some questions about yeah. that, mm -hmm. too, but he's going against Dallas. Mm. So I'm going to believe that he will be ready mm. for this encounter. And you combine that with the fact that they don't have to worry nearly as much about a Dallas Cowboys running game because whether it's McFadden, whether it's Randall, Dunbar, whomever, they ain't with Marco Murray, okay? Yeah. And as a result, I am going to predict that the Giants are going to go into Jerry World, mm. the billion-dollar playpen, play yeah. and they are you know. going to escape yeah. with a 31 to 27. I need to write that down. Escape. 30, he said escape. 31 to 27. That's right. And you're on I'm board, in. right, Molly? You're on the oh, bandwagon? Yes. So you're oh, now yes. Molly A. Karam, right? So I actually am. Yeah. That I is actually, my middle initial. Oh, it is? Yes. Oh, well, then actually, that explains yeah. it. actually sounds better. Giant, giant. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I'm just saying. I have a giant jersey. You know, I, I admire your prediction because it's straight from your heart, and I occasionally make those similar kinds of predictions. But I got, I'm here to tell you, it's just dumb. It's just wrong, and I, I, I feel sorry for you. Uh, if I need a <laughs> tissue because I need to wipe the tears from my eyes, that, that you actually said on national television <laughs> that the New York football giants are going to beat my Dallas Cowboys at Jerry World on a Sunday night opening night with Eli Manning at quarterback. My Cowboys have owned Eli Manning over the last two years. They've beaten him four straight times. This will be number I five. I agree. And oftentimes against Dallas, Eli Manning has looked like bad comedian Eli. You know that guy be in nice. the commercial? Yeah, seriously. Nice. That's what he looks like Paper to me. Paper mache Tony Dallas Romo guy. might show uh, up. I, he might, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, what is he, bad something, Tony Romo? I don't yeah, know. He it might. was creepy. You didn't like it. I, I did not like it. But speaking of Tony Romo, he stunk up their home opener a year ago against a San Francisco team that we all thought was pretty strong at that point that turned out to be pretty weak. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And Tony Romo was very weak in that opener because he threw three interceptions. They stunk it up. They got off to a terrible start. I wavered on my prediction. Then they finally reversed field. But my point is Tony Romo owes his football team a better home opener. He is going to light up the night on Sunday night against your suspect secondary. Okay. And JPP, obviously, he, he literally blew himself up and out. Oh, and, Skip, well, he just did. did. I'm sorry. I don't like the way? Giants. I don't like the Giants. Oh, God, God bless him. But, but again, he's not there. I don't think he's going to be there unless he miraculously shows up. But they, it sounds like they sent him away. So you're going to lose a little bit more in your pass rush. So Tony Romo ought to have time to, I'll quote you, to sit back in the pocket, call his wife, order a post-game pizza, whatever he needs to do, and find Dez, or find Witten, or find T-Will, or find Cole Beasley. What a receiving core this man has. 
I don't even know if they need to run the football on Sunday night. And I'm here to tell you, my defense is much better than most people think it is. Even without Greg Hardy and Rolando McClain for the first four games, Randy Gregory, the rookie. I like him. Yeah. And Coach I like him if he can stay off the week. Okay, I agree. But Coach, steals the Coach Herman game. Edwards, we're going to have him on here in a little bit on the show, has become something of a mentor to Randy. I'm liking what I hear. <coughs> I like what I see. I saw flashes all through the preseason. I think you're going to see flashes on Sunday night of him flying off the edge at Eli Manning. I, I, I think the pass rush with Demarcus Lawrence and Mincy is underrated. So I think my defense, especially with better pass rush, will hold up against Eli, who obviously has his moments. He can throw the football. We all know that. He also can lead the league three times in interceptions. We all know that. So, again, you're about to sign into some big, what is it, $65 million? Four years, $80 million, 65 guaranteed, tied with Walt Rivers for highest guaranteed. Wow. Money. He must wow. be good. You okay with that? Stephen A. I don't want to talk about well, it. Well, so they're going to yeah. I don't want to talk about it right now. Yeah. Well, that's, that's how I would feel, too. So, my point is, Tony Romo I in will, will outgun Eli Manning on Sunday well, night at Jerry World. I got it 31 to 21. I, I 31 just think 20. that it's going to take them some time. I think it's going to take them some time for their defense to be what you believe it ultimately will be. And I think when you combine that with the fact that the Giants, at the very least, are expected to have a passing attack, this is obviously a division rivalry. I think the Giants will be up for it. I think that the fact that it's the first game of the season, if this were game two or three, perhaps I would be more, more, more less confident, rather, mm -hmm. in my pick. I just think that when you talk about upset city, this is one of those games where it's capable of happening. Now, you could call that dumb, and that's fine. We shall see. Because I think it was dumb for the Cowboys to lose to Marco Murray. I think it was dumb for them to try to sell to the public that Darren McFadden or Randall or somebody were going to be able mm -hmm. to take up the load. I think it's dumb for you to act like their defense is going to be something special because I don't think it's going to be. Okay. All right? So and we I have think your from the heart prediction is flat out <laughs> dumb. Okay. Okay? Find out. Yeah, okay. Let's leave it there. Yes, let's. Mm -hmm. All right, so the Giants' home opener is next week. They're hosting the Falcons. And on a very serious note, with New York on our minds, on the anniversary of September 11th, all who were affected by the tragedy are in our hearts today here on First Take. Football season is back. I've watched the games and played the games. 